What's up guys, we are checking out EVGA's Precision X overclocking utility for uh, EVGA GPUs. This works with a lot of different GPUs. Currently have the GTX 680 installed. The GTX 680 has a dynamic core clock. Uh, on the box, it's uh, rated at 1019 megahertz, but it usually goes quite a bit beyond that. As you can see here, uh, that's sort of the target uh, clock rate right there. And this is the boost clock rate. But once you get into the game, if the game can handle it, or if your GPU can handle it in that game, it'll usually go one to 200 megahertz higher. And this program will allow you to tweak it, uh, add a little voltage, change your uh, GPU clock, and also change your memory clock. These are offsets, meaning that you're adding, you know, like right now it's plus zero. You can add, you know, plus 200 megahertz. So whatever the max is, you know, if it goes maybe to 1100, it'll try to add one to 200 on top of that. So I'm gonna do the defaults first. To show you how it works over here we can control our fan speed uh, this is nice keep an eye on your temps and everything and up here uh, you can configure some a few things i'll show you what we have here of course uh, if you have a nice overclock you can start it with windows start to minimize so it just you know drops down to the uh the tray here's your fan speed um, now if you enable software automatic fan control you can set some presets for the automatic fan control so here's your temperature all the way up to 100 and then you can say, all right, you know what, if we're getting around 60 Celsius, well, you know what, let's, uh, around 60, I'm going to bump that up to 76% fan speed. And you can bump it up accordingly if you need a little more, you know, a little more cooling while you're overclocking. So there's that. Monitoring is kind of cool. Uh, the one thing I want to show you on this, you can, of course, do a log file, which is nice. But uh, you have an OSD, so you can do an on-screen display inside your game. I'll leave that turned on in my game. Uh, let you do a screen capture. You can save profiles. Uh, a lot of different stuff you can do here. Put it in Polish if you like. A max would be just fine in Polish. You can even change your skin to the EVGA classified look, which is the red and black with gray. Keep it like that. All right. Let's get down to business. First off, uh, I just want to show you guys what happens on default when I load up a game. So I'm going to load up Skyrim. I've got Skyrim maxed out with this uh, 680. I've also got the HD texture pack, which is all 2K textures. Uh, I've got tons of new weapons. Most things are reskinned. I've edited my INI &I file to add shadows to, to the trees. Um, let's show you the options here. That's what we're working with. As you can see, everything is maxed out. And again, we are using non-stock textures, much higher res textures. But this is also the four gigabyte card, uh, four gigs of GDDR5. The standard card only has two gigabytes of GDDR5. So that's quite nice. Let's uh, see what happens here in the game. Now watch the uh, CPU frequency bump up as soon as I get into the game here. All right, blam. Now you see we're running at 11.23. So that's a bit higher than the uh, advertised core clock. So the dynamic clock bumps itself up. Eat that dragon. Elder dragon, screw you. This thing's on fire. Come here. So there you can see. Let's do an overclock, shall we? Oh, hi. Oh, he sees me. Okay, now let's um, let's overclock a little bit. The first thing you want to do when you overclock is add power. So I'm going to add a little power here. Let's do uh, oh, 116 because the guy in the EVJ video did 115. I want to be unique and different. I'll pull up the core clock here. Let's see here. It's good to go uh, conservative and then add a little bit. Keep trying. So we'll try... An extra 100 megahertz. Now, what this is going to do, it's not going to go 100 higher than the stock clock. It's going to go to whatever the maximum was, like last time we were around 11 something. It's going to go to that and then add 100 on top of that. So you're going to go far beyond your boost speed. Make sure you click apply. And uh, the fan is good. We've got our fan curve going. Yep. That fan curve is all messed up. Oh, yeah. Let's just. Uh, yeah. No, you don't want to drop it when it gets to 80. That's stupidity. Yeah, that's that's better. See how far this gets and see if it's stable. So it's very very similar to overclocking your CPU because you have to add voltage in order to get a higher frequency. Sometimes you can get a higher frequency without adding much voltage, and that's ideal because uh, the lower the voltage, the lower the um, the temperature. The threshold for this thing is around 99, but you never want to get it that high. Uh, I would say the 60s, or you want to keep this thing in the 60s. 
If it starts hitting 70, I'd start to worry. You go ahead and take this thing out so I can get some attention. Now, we're running at 1227. Come here. You. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, 1227, not bad. Let's go a little higher, shall we? Now, I did hear the fan speed and, uh, pick up quite a bit. It was making a little bit of noise in the back, but that's okay. Not too much noise. All right, let's bring this up to 150. I'm going to try doing the same voltage. It may crash, and then I'll have to add a little bit more voltage, but let's try 153. Hit apply. And let's see if this will work. You can also set profiles and open them for different games, because some games may work a little higher. I don't know. It's, it can be finicky. Also, um, I'll show you one more thing after we get out of the game that you may like. I hope this doesn't crash the system. Now, for the video, I don't think I'm going to go too much higher than this. If this works, I'll let you guys play around for your, you know, on your own because I think you get the idea. All right, we're running, we're running. 1277. Yes. Right in the head. You bastard. He's mine. <laughs> That never gets old. Where you at, dragon? 1277. Oh, I forgot to bring up the memory clock. The memory clock on this, uh, you can really push the memory. It's, oh, whoa. Where did that dragon come from? I'm dead. That's what I get for talking. <laughs> Let's push the memory clock a little bit. Let's bring it up 500 megahertz. Sure. Alright, let's see if this works. Yeah, you can really push the memory on this. Skull on a table. Is it working? Yes, it is. 1277. And the memory clock is 500 megahertz higher as well. Oh, I missed it. Such a compelling part of the game. And he runs up the stairs every time and I hit him in the back. He didn't die. I can really hear the fan going right now. It's pretty loud. Where's that thing at? And that cooked me. But the graphics card's not cooked. All right, I'll try to go a little bit higher on my own. Um, I don't want to crash and have to redo the video. So I'll go back down to default. There you saw we were getting around 1300. Pretty close to it anyway. One other thing I want to show you guys over here, there's your performance log, of course. Uh, frame rate target. Now, this is really cool. On your frame rate target, you can say, uh, this is really, really handy if you're playing an old game. You can set this to, like, 60. And then if you're playing an old game, say you're playing Deus Ex Part 1, uh, Game of the Year edition, of course, set it to 60. This GPU will only uh, ramp up as much as it needs to get that to 60. So it'll be kind of dynamic. And it'll probably stay, oh, pretty low, 400, 500, 600 in that range. You're going to, um, you'll save a lot of power, and the temperatures will stay nice and low, and everything will be happy. So that's really cool. And there you go, you can save your different profiles and load them up there. Now, there's a few other things you can do with this. I'm not going to get into too much of it. But, um, oh yeah, this is one other thing I want to mention. If you have multiple GPUs installed, this will allow you to, after you've, you know, made an overclock, you've you know configured an overclock here, you know it's stable, you can sync this, and it will sync all the other GPUs. Uh, if you have like another GTX 680, if you're running SLI or something like that, it will sync those uh, so that they are all running with the same overclock. It'll even sync them if they're not running an SLI. And there's some situations where you'll just have multiple GPUs uh, not in SLI, probably not for gaming, but you can sync it anyway. So there you have it, EVGA's Precision X program. We'll have a review on the GTX 680. Got two of those. We're going to do some SLI testing as well. Uh, expect that, I don't know, as soon as I can get it finished. All right, I'll see you guys next time.